we will move into second string. I only have a couple of them uh, this week. Uh, <laughs> one of the, I didn't go to CES. Uh, I've never been to CES, which is surprising. Uh, but this year, uh, the only thing that I could see everybody was talking about was, of course, smart cars and smart charging technology. Everybody was talking about matter and how the whole home automation and all that stuff. You know, other than that, that was it, with the exception <laughs> of I saw um, everybody's trying to track your data, right? Obviously. Smart watches, they're all trying to get your vitals. They want to see how long you're sleeping. They want to see your exercise activity. Some of them are trying to track your eating and your dietary you know, with the Apple Watch and Health app, you can track your medications. So everybody thinks or everybody assumes that smartwatches will be the main thing that's going to track all of your vitals. Well, one of the things that I thought that stood out at this year's CES was there are several <laughs> toilets that <laughs> have been announced that are actually going to start tracking your vitals as well, right? So there's a couple of products on the market. I'm not going to go into any details specifically because, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's like a couple of them that I saw, like this first one called Vivu, Vival. Uh, anyway, this company says its smart seat includes a sensor that moves with the user's urine stream and will provide results on a few different health parameters at a time sent to an app on your phone. So, um, one of the ways, well, the main way that women uh, find out they're pregnant is via uh, peeing on the urine stick. test. Yep, urine test, right? Um, another thing that I'm kind of <laughs> scared about a little bit, to be <laughs> perfectly honest, um, is when I ever I go to the doctor every year. I am. I just turned 45. I'm a black man. I have a history in my family. So every year I always go to ask my doctor, I'm like, hey, you know, when should I start being concerned about uh, prostate exams? You know, and mm -hmm. you know, all the comedians tell little funny jokes about, oh, fingers and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Every year my doctor says, no, no, no. We can, we can test that stuff via urine sample. Interesting. So, right. So I'm always like, all right, bet that's <laughs> that's a benefit for me. I don't need Thank no you. right. I don't need no invasive <laughs> procedure. I can just you can just I just you know do blood tests, do you know urine sample things like that. And everything's all right, and so it looks like you know these toilets. You know at the same time you can get a lot of these test results from the comfort of your own home via these uh, toilet seats. And then there was another one, uh, Kasana's heart seat is what they call it. It's an actual toilet seat that can measure your heart rate, blood ox oxygenation, and blood pressure through sisters. So I don't know why how? you would need to <laughs> be sitting on a toilet and need to know your blood oxygenation, blood pressure through sensors. Again, I'm relatively a healthy guy, so maybe there is a a group of people who need those type of measurements at all times, specifically, especially. Uh, when they are used in the restroom. But I guess, you know, there's a market for everything, I suppose. I <laughs> guess. I'm just trying to figure out how do you measure someone's blood pressure? I mean, uh, yeah, blood pressure through their butt. I don't know. Uh, pressure. That's pressure. When you're sitting down, they can, the, I guess the toilet can can sense the pressure <laughs> <laughs> and use that as a way to measure your heart rate. I didn't know your your butt beats like that. The same thing you, with the heart rate. Like your butt isn't pulsing with your heart. Rate. Right, right, right. When you think people do the blood pressure, they do it around your wrist or they do it around the arm your because arm. you got veins. I know the veins are strong like that in your butt, but I guess they are. I didn't either. I didn't either. But honestly, when you think about it, we're joking, but when you think about it, this probably makes the most sense because everybody has to go to the bathroom. Right. Yep. Yep. So I guess it kind of makes sense. It's just it's just weird to think about. Yeah, I I, I didn't want to <laughs> go too much into depth because you know these just talk about urine and you, but you you know stool samples. But anyway, we'll keep yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that I thought that was interesting because uh, that stuck out to me the most at CES. So I don't know if because 
CES is getting whack these days. I don't know if these companies are uh, not being innovative enough, but you know, outside of the similar stuff that we're used to, this has kind of stuck out to me the most. Uh, and robots. I saw a bunch yeah. of robots, but again, nobody cares yet. Yeah. And on a tangent for CES, I think that's the case, especially it, it's kind of following the same kind of pipeline that smartphones are. It's only so much more you can do right. with the smartphone the way it is. It's only so much more you can do with the TV, with mm. a you know laptop or mm. whatever the case may be. It's only so far you can go further than what we already have. So it's kind of like rehashing things or repackaging them to look a little bit different. So I think, you know, companies may need to, you know, pick up their innovation. Make game. toilets that can measure your butt pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Check your heart rate through your butt. All right. All right. So the next story, uh, Ohio and New Jersey banned TikTok from government owned devices. So, um, Biden has really started to ratchet down on TikTok and because, you know, over the course of the year, we've discovered that TikTok uh, administrators, um, whomever, have access to information that they said they don't actually have access to. So, again, of course, TikTok is owned by ByteDance and ByteDance, while it has a location in the United States and they have U.S. representatives. They have all the stateside representation. ByteDance is a China-owned company and the United States and China have this kind of love-hate relationship and add that with the fact, like I mentioned, that TikTok does take data and keep data and use our data when they said they wasn't. Um, Biden is starting to clamp down and Ohio and New Jersey are one of the starting to be some of the first states to actually ban uh, the app on government issued devices. Now, if you work for Ohio and New Jersey, you got your personal device, that's your business. But if you are issued a phone as far as your work position, uh, you are from Ohio and New Jersey, expect that those apps to be blocked. Uh, and I'll just read a couple of tidbits here. State officials are wary of user data that ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, might provide the Chinese government. Um, according to New Jersey State Press release, when versions of the app are analyzed, researchers found that keystrokes of users' data from the phone's clipboard and regular screen captures were collected by TikTok. The press release also said that passwords and other sensitive information in and outside the app may be collected by TikTok as well. Uh, so, you know, as far as a government entity and you know how people are at work, they really ain't at work. Right. <laughs> they probably using their computers, using their smartphones to do other things like be on TikTok and yeah. outside of <laughs> productivity, uh, you ain't supposed to be doing that at work. You know, you could also be giving up data uh, on a government device. So, you know, they definitely don't want that. So ByteDance response was they didn't immediately respond to a request for comment, but a TikTok representative told CNET that the company has been working with the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. for over two years to address, quote unquote, all reasonable national security concerns. So it sounds like TikTok is trying to work with them, but according to Ohio and Jersey, not fast enough. Yeah. So again, like I mentioned, if you are in Ohio and in New Jersey and you are issued a smartphone as part of your uh, company, uh, you may not be able to get on TikTok on that phone anyway. And honestly, it makes sense, especially on a government issued phone. Uh, and you know how careless people can be. On Look, these that's what I devices. do. So it that's makes my, sense. <laughs> inside baseball, <laughs> that's my day job all day long is telling people what they can and can't do on a company issued phones. <laughs> so I know some of the stuff these people be having on their phones. And again, I can't see actual data, but like some of the apps is like, man, they ain't got Come nothing to do now. with your job. <laughs> ain't got right. nothing to do with your job. <laughs> right. Right. And then honestly, I know the statement uh, said that, you know, they're really to work with the U.S. and all that stuff. But uh, no governmental official in the United States is going to genuinely trust uh, any type of Chinese owned um, safeguards or, you know, promises or 
we promise we won't, you know, do this. We pro- I don't think there's nothing, there's nothing that, you know, bite dance TikTok can do to me that would make any US governmental agency be like, okay. Only if, only if they didn't break it in the first place. And they broke it in the first place because, like I said, throughout the year, uh, this past year, there's been specific stories to where, you know, uh, ByteDance and Chinese officials said, no, we don't have that data. And come to find out they did have that data. So it's like now you're trying to double back and, you know, it might be too late. So especially for government owned devices. Now, there are some people out there who can't stay off of TikTok. Um, I have a TikTok account and I barely, barely use it. I don't post anything and I only follow like a couple of people, you know, so I would like to think that I'm not contributing, but if I got the app and it's installed on my phone, maybe I am contributing. So again, I don't want to be a hypocrite. So, you know, uh, maybe I had to look at, uh, delete my account on TikTok as well. So I'm not a part of the problem. Yeah. I have an account, but I just did it just to get my name. Uh, I, don't even yeah, think I, I, I don't even think I follow anybody. And they yeah, keep sending fo- me these emails like, hey, such and such just followed you. Or, hey, respond back to such and I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Not good. <laughs> yeah. I, um, in my former life, I was a watch aficionado. So there's a couple mm. of watch uh A little lurker accounts. over there. Yeah. I just lurk. Clearly just, <laughs> I, don't even, I, don't even, I don't even comment, like, heart, anything. I just flip through. So 